The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have one excellent stand-up comedian. First, the 1984 Kingman oh. County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Hey, shit. Thanks, asshole. No problem. I oh, appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, today, um, we were missing Derek. He had some stuff come up, and so he's, uh, he's going to be gone at least this week. Uh, so we hope we get him back next week. But uh, backpacking, he's off backpacking. He's, no, I heard he's getting a sex change. He is. He's getting a sex. Yes, change. sex change. Yeah. So while, while backpacking across Europe, that's the best <laughs> time to do it. Uh, for sure. <laughs> They're more tolerant of that over there. Uh, we do have a guest who's been on this show before. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, birthday boy himself, yep. Mr. Uh, Esteban Pateros. There you go. Yeah, man. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, happy birthday to you. Appreciate Thir- you. Thirty-two. And all you do for this community of. Laughing on the side. <laughs> Fuck, I have no idea. When do we leave? <laughs> you said I get some cookies or something for no. coming and doing this. Steve, no. Steve, the correct answer in this particular case is hi. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome Close back enough. to the show. Uh, for those of you guys that this is your first time listening, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes about things that have to do with sports or don't have anything to do with sports whatsoever. Mm-hmm. By the way, this is also an adult podcast with foul language, so if that makes you squeamish, you're in the wrong fucking place, get the fuck out of here. Thank you and good night. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fuck. Yeah, that's Sorry, my second favorite word. That's my yeah. second favorite word. You know what my favorite word is? Is. No. I'm going to guess it's is. No. Yeah. It is. Cunt. I love that word. Oh, yeah. that is a beautiful See? word. See? Really? That is a beautiful I word. Love they that use word. it in, in <clears throat> Australia and Europe way more than they do sure do. Here, and <sighs> it's more fun. See, well, too. no, it's not. It's nice. That's, that's the thing. It's a very powerful word. Yeah, oh, yeah. And when you use Drives it too much. Well, yeah, but when you use it too much, you take the piss out of it. No, I don't think so. Well, yeah, it's, but it's some got Australian dude place. saying that his mate is a crazy cunt. Yeah. That's actually a good thing. Okay, but we're not in Australia. I've called people crazy cunts before, and it's they're, never been my friend. Look at which way their toilets swirl. They're stupid down there. The poop goes right <laughs> okay? back into your butthole. It sure does. <laughs> By the way, that is a... Uh, That's so guys, bad. Do you guys know that that is a complete myth? Yes. That the poop goes uh, when, back when, into your butthole? No. No, no that, that part's true. Here? When the uh, now you're good, okay. yeah. yeah. When the uh, he just wanted to reach out and grab yeah. that mic, just, just grab it, give it a saw, stroke. He saw a black sense <laughs> cylindrical <laughs> thing and wanted to. Anyway. But no, it, it does See, not he matter fits right which, in. Uh, which part of the uh, equator you're on, which side you're on, the water still swirls the same direction. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so welcome to the show. Believe it or not, uh, yeah. So yeah, we like to start off the show with uh, uh, what we like to call our week week recap, going over what happened to us over the last week. So, Jeremy, yeah. What'd you do, bud? Lots of shit. Lots of shit. Actually, no. That's not the... <laughs> what is that noise? It's the refrigerator. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> is that thing it. gas-powered? <laughs> yes. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> wow. wow. Have you thought about putting a muffler on it? Because that might help. <laughs> no. I no. got it out of an RV. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut up! You can't. You can't. You can't. We could set up a GoFundMe so you could get a new mini fridge for like sixty five bucks. No, it's it's okay. It's okay. okay. Anyway, so, so Jeremy, quit making fun of my goddamn fridge. And what happened to you I, over the last? I week? thought your fridge was making fun of me. It was yelling at me and shit. Your fridge is a goddamn heckler. <laughs> no, it's not. It's um, just it's just noisy. But anyway, same shit everybody did Christmas. Yeah. Which, oh yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say that this might have been the most enjoyable Christmas of all time. Oh, for sure. Because we didn't do a fucking thing. We Absolutely. sat in our house, which yeah. is what I really wanted for Christmas anyway. Yeah, you're right. That's fucking just loud. Just stay home. Uh, you keep going. It's that's um uh, yeah. That's part of the show. Yeah, it sure is. The part oh, where Scotty's not on, stopped. on mic anymore. Oh no. Yeah, it's fine. Bring in Matt. <laughs> no. No? no? You just no. put a blanket God damn on it. it? Yeah, I did. I think you're going to warm it up to where it kicks back on again. No, 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 no. It keeps beers nice and uh, oh. insulated. But uh, it, yeah. Sorry. In fact, we didn't really even do gifts so much as we just uh, mailed each other gift cards. 
Nice. And you nice. got to buy whatever you want. I got enough gift cards to choke a horse, which was nice because number one on my list was to choke a horse. I'm sure that it was. was. The, that was the top thing. And then burn it um, alive or burn it? No. Okay. No, oh. I just wanted to choke it. Okay. And uh, it's easier than you'd think to get. Horses are fucking stupid. And uh, just to, to fucking get a horse yeah. to ingest some gift cards, and then you got to wait on them to come back out so I could buy shit with them. <laughs> and uh, I got some new tools. Oh, some new woodworking stuff. Oh, got a drill press. Okay, and a drill press table. Okay, oh, that's good. One that and actually goes straight up and down, or one? It does. Oh, I'll yeah. be darned. We didn't talk about that on the show. No, we didn't. Uh, <laughs> however, anybody listening that's looking to buy a new drill press, don't get one from Harbor Freight. <laughs> oh yeah, that's they're more good. like a KitchenAid mixer. Yeah, and uh, I'm on a uh, Facebook group, uh, a, a private one. I don't mean to brag. But uh, where you can review Harbor Freight tools, mm-hmm. and I, I took mine apart and did some measuring on it. It was off center by a lot, like uh, twenty hundredths of an inch. It, the hey, Steve, uh, Matt. Steve? sorry, I'm, <laughs> I, I really need this. Jesus. Really need Oklahoma State to start scoring some fucking points here. I just got my life ruined by a kicker again. <laughs> Just a minute ago. Anyways, Jeremy. Anyway, for a something that's supposed to help you drill precise holes, that's way the fuck off. And um, yeah. when I left my review of it, people got pissed off at me. Like, so you bought a cheap Chinese-made drill press, and now you're pissed because it's off-center? Well, no. This is a site for reviewing Harbor Freight tools. I left my review of a Harbor Freight yeah. tool. Yeah. You fucking jerk off. So <laughs> I had to put at the end of my deal... I didn't realize that this would be necessary, <laughs> but I guess I have to say it. <laughs> My only expectation of this drill press was that it would be better than having no drill press at all, <laughs> and somehow it failed to live up to my expectation. <laughs> nice. But, but um, yeah, so I got that. I got a, I got a new circular saw. Yeah. I, I already had one, but it was one of those battery-powered ones. Mm-hmm. They, don't, they don't turn enough RPMs. I got me a nice Makita. Nice. I think that's Japanese. Don't care for that part. But <laughs> that's good. Um, did, your wife, that, did your wife make it? Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> okay. She fashioned it out of some leaves and twigs and chopsticks and stuff. <laughs> she used, Samurai swords, she, man. Come she, on. She, she su- sharpened up the edges of her gong <laughs> for the blade. Oh, God. She, she powers it with the pedals from her rickshaw. <laughs> oh, my God. Your poor wife. <laughs> she really is. She started listening to some of it. She, she doesn't care for what I have to say about her at all. At oh, all. Oh, my. Oh, so many people after the, that video aired on TikTok were, were commenting, is Jeremy's wife really Japanese? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the thing is, yes, she is, number one. But two... I can't believe we didn't get any more negative shit no than what we got. Way. I mean, everybody seemed to really enjoy that. <laughs> yes, it was like the TikTok channel did you, for did you World War II vets. Did you tell everyone that she was an advisor with Michael Keaton on that movie where they made all the Toyotas in America? Oh, uh, what the fuck is that yeah, called? Yeah, uh, it was great. Uh, made in the USA, no, I think, No, it's not. It's... Uh, I don't. God know. damn it! It's. Um, you don't remember, oh, you're too young to remember this. Duh. Yeah, it was a. Y'all are too old movie. for cool shit. Not, not gung ho. Um, no. But it's something like that. Kamikaze. Yeah, something like that. All right, we're gonna. Anyways, I tell you that's, what. That's a stupid. No, don't don't look it up. It's gonna come to me. Okay, never mind. It, we'll, look we'll, it up. Uh, I'll 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 think of it. Can and, we just um, look up how the Oklahoma State Cowboys could win this fucking football game? They're already not winning. by doing what they're no, doing. No, I need them to win. More. Let Jeremy finish his week week more. recap, and then um, I know last week we talked about the uh, the new Fuck. rule that the MLB yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah 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 deal is doing with the Negro Leagues and how they're going to yeah, yeah, start yeah. counting Negro League stats as Major League stats. And then I got to looking up. There is a guy. Uh, they did a, a special about him on Real Sports with Bryant Gumble okay. on HBO. Um, the, this guy named Larry Lester. Okay. He's a retired guy who has basically dedicated his life's pursuit now to tracking down, and he has tracked down uh, the official box scores and scorecards from over 14,000. Holy shit. Negro Leagues games, the wow, official ones, awesome. which is going to make it a hell of a lot easier to go back and get people's stats and numbers yeah, and that's cool get them well. posthumously really cool. put in there. But yeah, that. That, I thought that was a really good, cool deal, and I thought that was a really okay. good story that they did on, on uh, cool. Real Sports. So, yeah, awesome. if you get some time, go check that out. How, anything right. else? 
Nope, just Negro Leagues. <laughs> well, and choking horses. And choking horses. Okay, well, um, hey, uh, we got our buddy Steve here. Uh, yeah. Esteban. Uh, Esteban, um, for a lot of listeners, this is your first time on the show. It is. Yeah. No. Okay. It's not his first time on the show. No, no, no. For a but lot for of listeners, listeners, this is yeah. the very first time he's been on the show to, and heard him. Well, then they need to go back and listen to the old ones. This is, them. This is true. This is not about the listeners. This is true. We don't <laughs> cater to them. This is true. Uh, that's, um, yeah, we do. Um, I feel like that's so, not a solid strategy. <laughs> <laughs> for for those of you guys that don't know, Steve has been a very good friend of the show for, uh, we're coming up on two years, boys. Yeah, I was a groupie for a long time. I was that actually sure a was. fluffer for the first uh, yep. 12 episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mitch Mitch so, took his job. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Esteban decided to go and do his own show, which mm-hmm. he still does, which is, uh, what's it called? The Big Will and Esteban Show. Big Will and Esteban Show. Owner of Vorche's Lounge. Yeah. Uh, yeah um, Let's use his uh, balcony a few times. To yes, we have. Live cast. True. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very good Very good bar. It's a swank joint. It's fucking, it's swanky, fucking, it's swanky fucking swanky awesome. That's what it is. Uh, especially when you get your beer for free if you do a show there. Um, but on top of that. Wait, what? You, you what? got free beer? Damn, he's. Uh, yeah, we didn't tell him. <laughs> oh, we God, just, it's sorry. <laughs> we thought um, he had enough money, so we just kind of charged him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do just kind of ooze Fuck. that old money look <laughs> yeah. when I walk in. I uh, shouldn't wear a top hat yeah, when I go yes, into places in exactly. Monocles. Not only exactly. dripping with pus, but dripping with cash. That's what mm-hmm. uh, Jeremy Joseph oh, yeah. is. Um, but on top of that, you're kind of a, uh, over the last couple of, uh, well, over the last couple of months uh, yeah. we hear that you actually did uh, stand up for a little bit what's that uh, like yeah. i have uh, yeah. i have done a few stand ups that must be my week week in review or whatever yeah uh, yeah we, we did just the, did it for you <laughs> yeah we're doing yeah. it for we you we know you're we're, not paying any attention no. <laughs> shit we, well these fucking assholes i mean you got another one what the fuck's going we'll on we'll get to the reason why he's anyway, so pissed off in okay. a second so it, no just don't bet on my look they've lost la- they out of 10 times they've played in a bowl game they've lost last 9 times dude you don't you never know and and they don't have their quarterback. Like, Anyways, what is going on here? This is good radio. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Comedy. I'm going to turn uh, it off in a How second. is your podcast not more popular? I know. <laughs> so it's basically just me yelling at people. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I uh, I did the stand-up Santa, what is that? The gift exchange thing? Have you ever done that? Oh, yet? yeah, the secret Santa. That's pretty fun. That was fun. I, I don't didn't had never done that because I don't believe in giving gifts. Oh, it's, <laughs> no, no, no. I gave a, uh, my gift to someone was uh, a calendar of dogs pooping. <laughs> so it was 12 months of dogs taking a shit, and then you had the calendar. Have you seen Scotty's there. calendar that he never uses? <laughs> no. He's only got a that? couple of days left to use it? Where's it at? That's true. Where is it, Scotty? God damn it. You're going to make me get up again? I'll get up. It's no. Scotty's you sister sit there in different bikinis. No. I wish it was that good. <laughs> Scotty sure does anyway. God damn it. Oh, no. It's, it's Scotty it's getting missing. pegged. It got lost again. Thank is it in the God. other drawer? No, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's two drawers right side by side. Oh, you, this is great. Nice is Jewish that Seth guys. Rogen? Nope. <laughs> it's pretty no. fucking close, though, don't that, 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 is a, that looks like Seth Rogen. They've all yeah. seen it. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that is a nice Jewish guy is what that is. Yeah. Michael looks like Artie Lang. <laughs> oh, Jack and Benny are banging each other for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Huh, well, that's a that's a and nice. they're dreaming of Scotty, yeah, and he won't, he won't put up their calendar. No, nope, I sure won't. Soul. Yeah, Derek got me that. Huh. Fuck, fuck, Derek. He's a nice kid. Well, nice girl now. You know, yeah, for a true. podcast that's been going almost two years, this is the roughest takeoff we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. should start over. <laughs> no. We're not gonna. No, but we should. No, we're not gonna. Just for you know, <clears throat> listener pleasure. Uh, I but, did have a mimosa drinking competition with myself on Christmas, and I won. You won? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What time did you pass out? 7. Nice. 7 p.m. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, you made it to the p.m. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, That's I good. Was, uh, it was good. Yeah. It was pretty good. So. Well, good for you. Mm-hmm. Um, did you get anything good? Yeah. Did you get any cool presents? No. I did not receive a present, but I gave a lot of really cool presents. That's cool. And my wife and kids had a great time. Good. So you didn't give us shit. Maybe next they'll think of me. You didn't give us shit. No. I, uh, no. Yeah. All that free beer was enough anyway. So, thank well, you, man. for you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Jeremy. <laughs> That's the point. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, okay. I got to stop coming into places and throwing around $100 bills. That's, <laughs> That's really <laughs> off-putting, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I really could have used some free oh, beer. Oh, shit. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. So, so, my week uh, was actually really cool. 
Oh, you have to do this. I now. get to do this uh, now. Yeah. He does host the show. I do. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. It's kind of my job. All right. Uh, everybody hates me doing it, but uh, what do you do? You know. Yeah. yeah. So uh, actually, being a good host. Quit. I. Oh, you prick. <laughs> anyway, so being a good host. Uh, I'm in contact with a lot of the listeners that we have, and mm-hmm. I actually had the pleasure of talking to one of our our listeners. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talk about him all the time, Lucas. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I got to... Uh, I Wheelchair time. hockey kid. Wheelchair hockey kid. I got to uh, talk to him for a little bit. Not very long. My wife ended up coming down the stairs and yelling at me and bitching, and that's normally what she does. So I got to have a brief conversation with him. He's doing good. Um, I think uh, season starts for him not not too much longer, but I did that, and I and I was really uh, I was really pumped to do that because I've been meaning to, to call and talk to that kid. So is he... Uh, catch me up here. Is he yeah. a hockey fan? Uh, no. Well, he is a hockey fan. Well, he is fan. a huge hockey fan, yeah. yeah. But, but he, he plays uh, plays us, uh, wheelchair hockey. He's in, he's in a wheelchair. That's badass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't shit. know shit about hockey, but... Dude, I, can, I pretty played cool. very, very competitive hockey growing up. Um, and well, and not actually, competitive, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I had, uh, I had a, a fucking... I had a... a uh, what Sco- is it? Scholarship? scholarship to Miami of Ohio uh, to play hockey for them. And by family stuff, uh, I wasn't able to go. But and now anyway, Miami of Florida uh, is about to fuck you over. Yeah, these mother, my name of everything <laughs> is not good. Oh, that, uh, that's true. No, actually, we, if we OSU first... can get a touchdown here and not fuck up the extra point, excellent I can still radio, win. especially if you're trying to keep the episode timeless. You're doing a fucking sure. awful job. Uh, but anyways, for those of you guys who don't know who Steve is, he has a fucking enormous. Gambling problem. Well, mm-hmm. it's just, I mean, it's a hobby. It's a you know? hobby. He does daily. It's he is literally bet on chess matches. It's a worse gambling. Mm. It's a bigger gambling problem than most black guys. Yeah, have. and if that fucking so. American kid had played a little <laughs> yeah. bit better, here's the deal. <laughs> no, he, don't do they it. went into like sudden death chess matches, <laughs> and if this kid would have had, he, he, I think he choked. He choked Fuck under the Fuck that pressure. kid, like that horse. Yeah, and that fucking the, horse. Yeah. Don't the, fuck the, the horse. Knight. He choked like the, the horse. Fucking German he moved, kid he, beat him. He, he moved the knight into the wrong spot. The rook came remember. in and took him out, and that motherfucker that exactly lost. What happened. But it, it came down to like one match. Mm-hmm. Like it was, and, and I was getting like plus it four ten or something on him. It was a good deal. Mm. Anyway, anyway, um, the other cool thing that happened in my week. Uh, obviously, we had Christmas. I don't know what to say. Oh, fourth and nine. Awesome Christmas. OSU again, Thanks, buddy. Steve, I'm gonna punch you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, uh, also, uh, those of you guys that have been paying attention, um, me and Jeremy and, and Derek are all in the uh, same fantasy football league. And uh, there was a winner of that particular football league, fantasy football league. Jeremy. Yeah. Who won? Well, I've said this before. I'll say it again. People are as interested in your fantasy football team <laughs> as they are about hearing about your dreams. That's <sighs> how interested they are. And that sometimes can go bad. You know who that went real bad for? Who? Martin Luther King. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Telling people about his fucking dream, look what happened. All well, right? So uh, shut up about the fantasy football thing. Nobody cares about it. Oh, yeah, they do. In fact, uh, it was it was an awesome experience. I, I uh, on, you on sat Christmas, there and did on nothing. Christmas, <laughs> on Christmas, just like a beautiful gift, I had Alvin Kamara go out and score how many touchdowns, Jeremy? Six! And it was fucking awesome, and uh, the rest of my team played like shit, but uh, it was enough to pull out a victory. If he hadn't done that, I don't think you'd have won. Nope, sure wouldn't have, but it's not that he... If he didn't, it doesn't matter, because he did. So that was was the beginning Uh of, uh, of, of my beautiful weekend. And, uh, Jeremy, there's also a belt, uh, on its way. So, uh... Like a... WWE belt? Uh, you, no, a fantasy football are you gonna whip championship me belt. <laughs> because it's honestly, be this like, show just got a lot better. <laughs> the hardcore title oh, of 2020. What? Uh, I won fan of fantasy did, football in the shittiest year ever. Did you mm-hmm. buy yourself a belt? Yeah. I bought us a belt. It's it's our like league's it's our league's belt. No, no oh. you're not you're not the commissioner of that league. You can't just buy trophies yeah, for but the it. The commissioner's a piece of shit, so I did. I'm the commissioner. Nope. Derek oh. is. Oh, that guy. What yeah. A fucking, well, it's not even a guy anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is he gonna na- is he gonna change his name to Darlene? I told him that he probably shouldn't do that. I thought that was a very unsexy name. Yeah, I don't no, think so. He's going with Bethany, <laughs> and um, for no real reason other than it just sounds very Euro trash, which is where he's at. Yeah. I heard he was going with like. He's uh, gonna be such a. Oh. I thought he. I thought he was going with Kathleen Brenner. Is what I thought he was going oh, with. Oh yeah, that yeah. is that David be. Brenner's sister? 
comedian David Brenner? Yeah, I know. Him and Caitlin are going to hang out That's, and be best friends. They, our, their names sound alike. Our, um, our audience is so young, I'm sure they don't know who the fuck David Brenner is. I don't even uh, know if that was a real person. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. He's legendary, but old school Dude, now. We, re- we, we referenced Michael Keaton in, yeah, I thought it was Made in the USA. No, it was. You, I forgot about it. Making in America. Gung, I'm pretty sure it was Kung Ho, wasn't it? Good God. No, Somebody pull it up on your fucking phone. It was phone. not made in America. I can Good tell you. I think it's made in America. It, it's not that. I can tell you <laughs> for a fact. It's not that. Anyways, you two old fuckers. I'm pretty stop, sure it's gung-ho. Can stop arguing. I don't think it was gung-ho. And, oh, my God. Pull it up, Jeremy. I'm going to hurry. I I'm going. I would have well, done this an I'm, hour I'm ago. putting in. I'm locking in my final answer at gung-ho. Okay. I'm saying made in the USA. Damn. I think we're both wrong, actually. Watch it. Yeah, I, I bet you both are wrong. You both, both suck, wrong. you both suck at Do life. So. Dun- Gung ho, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> Challenge me again! <laughs> well done, Jeremy. You want to put some that, money on it this time? Look, if you're the person that named that movie, you're an asshole. That is the worst <laughs> name for a movie well, it's that could have ever happened. Because sure. Ho is a Chinese name, and they were Japanese people. I like That's that. That's true. <laughs> That's true. They stole it from the Chinese. Well, they sure did. believe it or not, we get to move on a little bit. We uh, we got a we got a couple of sports to talk about today. I just spilled beer all down the front of my shirt. I dribbled it out of my mouth like a That's what you porn get. star. Good job, buddy. Nice work. Awesome. Uh-huh. Uh, so this was week 16 in the NFL. Um, it's hard to believe it's that far It's long. almost over, bro. We got one more week. And, and, and you know what? For once. Hang on. Before what? we do that. What? There's something we got to do. Okay. Oh, There's, yeah. Okay. I hate to. I know this is a comedy show. I hate to break it down and get all serious. Mm-hmm. But it's a well-known fact. The number one killer in America is heart disease. Okay. But the number one killer of romantic interludes is a poorly trimmed pubic region. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is a fact that a lot of people didn't know. Yeah. Thank God today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. That's right. Mm. This this episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Uh, Manscaped.com. They are actually selling the Lawn Mower 3.0. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeremy? Yeah. What'd you think, bud? Dude, <laughs> that fucking thing is legit. <laughs> it's fucking legit. That thing would sure a Sasquatch. <laughs> And it'll just it just keeps going. Yeah. I used it in the shower. I clogged that fucking thing up twice. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what didn't clog up my trimmer. Yeah. It, and never once did it pull, tug, catch skin, nothing. Dude, yeah. it, my balls. Do you want to see my balls? No, I'm good. I'll show you. No, I'm good. You should. No. You should have taken a picture though. And I'll tell you what, the I got in the package, uh-huh. I got the uh, not my my package, <laughs> yeah. but in the uh, the package that, that we got from uh, Manscaped, there was the ball toner. Yeah, nice. my balls are so toned right now. <laughs> I know you can't help thinking about toner and printers, and mm-hmm. you get an erection from it, Scotty. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but then the ball deodorant too. Yeah. That, oh, that'd be good. No, and so- then if you want, <clears throat> you can get the razor, the plow. They call it. <laughs> They got all kinds of cool products, but dude, that that trimmer is fucking legit. Yeah, the the lawnmower 3.0 is the shit. Uh, we well, show them, Scotty. Yeah, not, not your balls. Show them the trimmer. Yeah, let's yeah. shave your beard with it. I got it right here. Yeah, look at that, that thing. Have now, you, you used this on your? You don't want to touch Let it. Let me see this thing. Well, you don't want to touch it. That's fine. It's been on my balls. Now I know it's called Manscaped. Yeah, it will it has. work for ladies? <laughs> yeah, it nice. it it's well, nice. it will. Yeah, well, it really will. Um, uh, and, and, and I don't know if we're supposed to say that or not, but yeah, well, yeah, probably. Yeah, if your wife has a greasy muff that needs to be trimmed, <laughs> or just think hair, cut it's, through it. It's not. Guaranteed. It's not actually known for degreasing. Oh. It's uh, hair. It'll yeah. take the hair off. The grease will speed it up. It makes it sure it will. That I, I lubricates. Mean, I, I was I was very impressed, especially from from the from my past of using a, an actual like beard trimmer. Beard trimmer. Uh-huh. Holy, Holy dude, shit! Brain, I, son of a bitch, I have bro. caught my scrot in one of those <laughs> I have ones. Too. And no, oh, I have no, thank too. you. No, thank you. Dude, <laughs> this, it, 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 and, and it leaves the tracks. Oh, yeah. like the like tracks on your nuts, and they're bleeding. <laughs> I've had that yes, before. Yeah, yes, yeah. It's I'm bad. ordering one of these. What, where do I go here? Uh, you go to manscaped.com. Manscaped.com. And use the promo right code SIDELINES. Okay. While, while you're getting to that, let's oh. talk a little more about it. Okay. It's got, okay, this this futuristic, like, ceramic cutting edge. Yeah. I thought it was plastic at first. It's ceramic, oh, which shit. they make a lot of cutlery out of ceramic. Oh, now. yeah. It stays sharp. It never needs to be sharpened. 
I'm going to use... I'm you know how you take your ball trimmer in to get sharpened a lot of times? Yeah. Take it into the blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that with this. <laughs> of course you don't. The battery lasts forever. 90 minutes, it says, that this thing is good for. And if it takes you I, 90 minutes to trim your bush... You, you, you should have been doing this a long time ago. A long time ago. You should have gone with the lawnmower 1.0. <laughs> okay, but uh, 7,000 RPM, that thing churns. Wow. That's that's more than like a Mercury outboard. Yeah? Dude, you know, that's fucking amazing. The LED headlight, or the, the LED it, light, bro. Yes. Yes, you can see if you get a mirror right down to your taint. <laughs> okay. If I could see my balls over my belly, it would look great. I'm sure it would. <laughs> But I can't. <laughs> but it feels amazing. Yeah. And then to recharge it, it's got this like docking stand. Yeah. As I said last week, a dock for your dick trimmer. Yeah. It it is really cool looking. It sits there like a piece of equipment that you can show off proudly. I don't know why you're bringing people into your bathroom, but <laughs> you have a lady over. You have that thing displayed proudly on your vanity, and. She knows what's what you're working with down there. Yeah. Well, she doesn't know what you're working with, but she knows it's fresh. She knows. It, yeah. It's, it's 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 in good. It's in a good. Uh, you know. You're somebody who takes care of yourself yeah, down exactly. there. Exactly. So exactly. I'm, I'm going to order the performance package, which yep. comes with boxers, but I don't wear underwear. So if you guys would like <laughs> to have those, well, more than welcome. Those what's, off. what's the dis- what's the discount code again? The promo code is sidelines. You get twenty percent off your Side. order and free and shipping. Sure. So. If you are in the market for something like this, you do get 20% off and free shipping by using our promo code uh, sidelines. This is great. Clean it, it up bush to tush. There you go. That's what they say. Yeah. They have a lot of other cool uh, cool other sayings like, uh, your balls will thank you. And I think they will because mine are thanking me right now. Because they also have their underwear on right now. They're beautiful. Yes. They feel yes, I underwear. Dude, you really do. That, that, oh, yeah. that t- Gosh, you're wearing the t-shirt. I'm wearing the t-shirt, dude. dude. That's a that's a nice t-shirt. That they nice didn't go cheap. That's not like a Gildan, yeah. like a heavy shitty. Nice that, work. They went yeah. with a quality t-shirt that's nice and form fitting. I mean, it looks like shit on you, but thanks. It, well, anybody else, do. it would look great. Absolutely. But, so check uh, out manscape.com promo code sidelines, and you'll appreciate yourself. Not to mention, guys, it would if you bought from them, it would really help us out. Absolutely. Use that, yeah, that, a, that helps that us sideline. keep them as a sponsor. So thank you guys so much. Yes. Okay, moving on. We got to get to some sports here. Week one, or I'm sorry, week one. Huh? I've forgotten. What week is it? Uh, it's week 16. Oh, okay. This shit's almost over, kids. We got one more week left, and for one time, uh, week 17, it's not going to be an absolute shit show. There are going to be a couple of teams that are going to be sitting all of their starters, like the Kansas City Chiefs, which, I mean, I would too if I was in that situation. But I've seen where that goes bad. That's kind of the other thing. I'm thinking they clinched. They have clinched. Play them for the, a half. They, they have you clinched buy. the bye. So you already have a day of rest. No, you don't want to get anybody hurt, but you also don't want to completely. I just made my manscape. There, also, there you go. We'll, we'll get I'm into that excited. game a little later, but I can tell you Andy Reid doesn't think about shit like keeping his players safe. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Oh, did you see that? We'll, we'll get into it. In yeah, okay. Get into it okay. We okay. got to talk about uh, that. Oh, we definitely will. Week 16, ladies and gentlemen, starts. Uh, but but I want to I wanna say something to all those people that are still playing fantasy football into week 17, which is the last week of the fucking season when you have these teams that are going to be doing this shit and sitting a lot of their starters. Don't do that shit no more. Stop it. Mm-hmm. If you're in one of those fantasy leagues, stop doing that. It sucks. Anyways. Yeah. That's, that's a bush league. Trim that bush with Manscaped. Correct. Um. But uh, first thing in week 16 I wanted to talk about, after a horrible, horrible performance against the Buffalo Bills, uh, they are not so happy with uh, – the Patriots aren't that happy with Cam Newton. Yeah. Well, imagine that. I knew that. Pulled his ass. Um, so there are a lot of questions going around. What's going to happen? Is he going to end up staying with them? Is he going to be a backup? They should have bought him a brand new, super cute head scarf, and he would have played a lot better. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I think he would have thought he had it made. He yeah. just settled in. That's yeah. true. He'd have probably bought a house. Um, but he's he set the record for most uh, rushing touchdowns as a Patriot. Um, especially with when four. you four. <laughs> 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 Whenever you've Man had a, me another good rushing Patriot quarterback that's exactly ever. Exactly what I was just getting ready to say. You had fucking Doug Flutie and Tom Brady, the last uh, last two quarterbacks that have been there. It's not that fucking hard to do. Doug Flutie? Not, did I say Doug Flutie? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say what? Uh, no, uh, Drew Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe. Sorry, Wheaties. sorry, my bad. Uh, oh, anyways, no, Flakes. so my question what to you: What about Garoppolo? Yeah, me? not so much. Nah. I mean, he was there. He was there uh, he behind sure Tom. Was. But my How question is, that? if Tom didn't leave New England and he stayed in 
New England mm-hmm. instead of going to Tampa Bay. And Gronk stayed too. Uh, I don't really care. Gronk if had already retired yeah. from the Patriots. Do you think if it was just Tom Brady and he stayed with New England, do you think New England would have made the playoffs? Probably. Yeah, I mean, but do, with, you with have the to expanded look at playoffs, the... I mean, yeah. it's not half the teams get in. Yeah. My argument is uh, Tom – now, great, granted, Tom Brady is in his early 40s now. He's, But he's on a team – that's fucking. He looks good, man. More he, does, he does not did. look bad. Yes, he does not loaded. Look bad. I have I have said before on this show, five years ago, you give him those weapons and he breaks every record in the book. Mm-hmm. I agree, I but agree he's not the Tom Brady of five years ago. Correct. Um, you know, and you say early forties. He's forty three or forty four. He's, 43. he's 43. mid forties. So, I mean, that's early. That's forties. Early forties. Sure. Happy birthday, um, by the way, there you go, Steve. It's very early 40s. It's the earliest of the 40s. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, fuck you it's guys. It's the earliest of the mid 40s. <laughs> I'm still in my 30s, bitches. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah but you ha- I don't know. What's the even trade off? You got to walk around looking the way you do. That's true. Well, that's true. And being Scotty. And getting pegged all the time. Ouch. That young <laughs> age just brings out more of the Scotty in you, Scotty. Yeah. Um, okay. Huh. So. Now, after answering that question, the Buccaneers uh, clinch a playoff, uh, p- clinch a playoff, clinch a playoff berth for the first mm-hmm. time since 2007. It's because okay. of Tom Brady, and it it's not just because of Tom Brady. Tom it, Brady had a lot to do with it. it he did. He did. He was uh, very good for the first time in a long time, they have a functional quarterback. Correct. I agree. They didn't need to be great with those weapons. I mean, they got a running game. Yep. They've got excellent weapons to pass to. Yep. Right. And they got a decent defense. Yeah, they, they, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Um, and I mean, Jameis Winston was lighting up the fucking scoreboard with this team. Uh-huh. He just was throwing a lot of interceptions. And stealing too. crab legs on the side at, a, at sure. grocery stores and shit yeah, like that. these things happen. I know. Sure they do. good. It was an accident. It was totally He didn't mean to totally stuff crab accident. down his pants. No, he totally didn't mean to do that at it all. It slipped. Yeah, yeah, you slip and crab <laughs> goes down your pants. Uh, let's see. <laughs> right. Everybody uh, <laughs> slips when they have crabs in their pants. Mm-hmm, exactly. Uh, with the Dallas Cowboys beating the Philadelphia Eagles, the Cowboys still have a shot in making Fuck the them. fucking playoffs. And they Your eliminate the Eagles. Team. Your uh, favorite team on planet Earth. I hate this division so much. It's I bad. do too. I fucking hate this division so much. It's apparently going to be, it's assured that for the third time in NFL history, the winner of a division will have a losing record. Yeah. And that should not happen. No, and it's gonna be. It's gonna come down to the Cowboys mm-hmm. and Jeez. the Redskins, right? And possibly the Giants, because it's basically Cowboys play the Giants, Redskins play the Eagles, Redskins the football team, whatever you know what the fuck I meant, right? And it all depends out I of all those love, teams. I love, love, love that they just call themselves the Washington football team. I fucking hate it. Because they were so resistant to getting rid of the Redskins for so long anyway. Yeah, but Bill Snyder's it's, an it's just a fuck you or no, is what, all it what is. What was his name? What, what's the, Who's the guy that you hate? Dan Snyder. Dan Snyder. Thank you. So yeah, he's, a, he's a fucking prick. He wouldn't get on your nice Jewish men's calendar. No, he would not. I don't know. He might. Nah, he's too short. He's, he's a piece of shit. Um, so yeah, fuck you, uh, in a NFC East. I fucking hate you. Um, Alvin I, Kamara rushes I, for how many, how many touchdowns, Jeremy? You want to host, you want to host the show? Yeah. Is that what's up? Yeah. Steve? I just Steve's saw, just reading. I, I was reading, I was, still, I was reading the I was, text here. He's stating mm. a factual statement, mm. but cause he mm-hmm. did. And it was yeah. a record. We, how we, how many of those touchdowns did you It was rushed? not a record. It tied a record. It tied Somebody a record. Else Sorry. Had already Sorry. set a record. Sorry. Yeah, he tied I a record. I don't know who it was, but he was better than whatever you got on your fantasy team. No. Yep. No, I don't think so. Alvin Kamara ties a record with six rushing touchdowns That's against five the Vikings. Plus one. And he fucking could have had five plus one. <laughs> <laughs> he could have had one more. Sean Payton took it away he from. He could have had one more, actually. Because. He was like that far away. Taysom Hill ended up sneaking into the end zone for a, for a touchdown. And you kind of look at Sean I'm gonna Payton. I'm going to do like Steve does. The Bears beats the Jaguars. <laughs> you fucking assholes. <laughs> Anyways. Well, you know. It was yeah. great. Okay, Scotty. Yeah, you want fantasy. Yeah, That's I the did. only reason you want to talk about it. That's it. Um, well, yeah, that's till, very newsworthy. Wait till but next other than week. That, when I get a belt, motherfuckers. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to wear it like the Bestowed rock. Bestowed on you by yourself. Uh-huh. I got a belt, too. 
I'm wearing it. Yeah, I got a belt too, but this I one's got a, cooler. I got a belt that I earned. This it's one's made out of yellow. Gold. Yeah. I got a yellow belt. So the Bears beat the Jaguars and score That's 30 karate, points uh-huh. or when more I was for yeah. four consecutive weeks for the very first time since 1965. That's great. How about that? That's fucking ridiculous. That's awesome. It's no, like that's they're very just, awesome. Is it? It's that, hard for me to give props to Mitch Trubisky, though. That's that's my yeah, issue. Here. Because nor, he's, nor should you, because he's not the reason. I know, he's, and it's hard for me to give any props to Matt Nagy. It's hard for me to give any props. He's part of the props. reason? He's played He's Pretty actually well. managed the games fairly well. He, he has. I'll give him that. He and, has. And David Montgomery. And he's yeah. Polish. Yeah, he is Polish. He is Polish. The Polish prospect. The Polish sausage. Yep. That's and guess what we're just what? calling from now on. If the on. Bears end up beating the Green Bay Packers this next week, they go to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Lucky we'll there. We'll see what happens. Uh, the Seahawks clinch the NFC West title over the Rams, and Jared Goff is now out for Week 17. Is it just me, or was that like the dirtiest clinch on planet Earth? Because they just struggled all year, it seemed like. I mean, no, they did I, well, I was but on, they were close a lot of times. I was on the toilet earlier, and my beehole clenched. <laughs> and that was a mess. That bear. was a yeah. mess. Yeah. yeah. No, earlier today. That's not just not they. They just they out. never were that. You know what I mean? They just never were that. Like like betting them. I always was very nervous about betting them. The Seahawks. Yeah, especially like I, first half and stuff like that. Just because it's like uh, they could shit the bed. Well, right then here, don't. You know? Yeah, don't do that. How about that? Oh, yeah. how no, about no, you no. just don't? No, I have, just, a, I have an issue uh, where no that, shit. That's the how only reason you? I like sports <laughs> is for betting. If it wasn't for betting, I could just say fuck sports. Yeah, I have no reason to watch them. You, That's you lost your uh, Oklahoma State Miami. I know. Yeah, yeah. and just, they and and I'm going for sixty five under sixty five and a half on this game. And they got seven fucking points in 12 minutes. Or Jesus, seven points? Seven. The first three minutes of the game, they got seven points. That's it's not looking get. good. See, this is why mm-hmm. you don't gamble, kids. No, See, I do. You turn, into, I do. you turn into this kind of a person. You should and gamble. Mm-hmm. You should no. always gamble, Never kids. Should. If you're watching this at Never seven years should. old, open a sports betting account right now. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, Goff is now out. I believe he has a broken thumb. He Jared had, he Goffel. Had, he, had, he is Jared Goffel. Um, I don't say know. He's going to have to have surgery on it, but he might be able to play with a cast for now. He oh. could put one of his kids in to play. Probably not. He has like 14 of them. No, that's, that's Philip Rivers, Rivers, dumbass. Are we sure? Oh, yeah. Yep. Jared Goff doesn't have Why a kid. Why did I think that was Jared Goff? I have no idea. Because oh, you know fuck. that guy gets a lot of puss. <laughs> he probably does. But he his pullout does. game is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> with zero kids. Uh, and here you go. Here's yours there, Jeremy. Yeah. The Chiefs clinched the first round by... There you go. With a win over the Panthers. That's awesome, man. There you go. None of that is factual. They did not beat the Panthers. They beat the Falcons. Oh, I meant the, I meant the Falcons. I was... I was I but was, it's written <clears throat> right here as Panthers, yeah, I, so I, you have so to go I, with that. I guess, I'm going, I'm going yeah, back. Dude, and, how about that Panthers-Chiefs game? <laughs> um, <laughs> here we go. I, I just... I fixed it. It was supposed so to yeah, it's supposed Falcons. to say Falcons. I'm yeah. sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. I don't know how to handle today. I don't well what? everything's thrown off. Derek not and they, showing here. And they barely beat the Falcons. Yeah. Too. That's yes. Like by three points. Mm-hmm. Tony Gonzalez in the post game said something that I have been airing for a while now. I've said it several times on the show. They are playing down to the level of their competition. I agree with that. They are not playing any harder than they have to. Yeah. And it's horseshit. That is Andy Reid horseshit. Yeah. Yeah, and but then Andy I don't like Reed it. gets Edward Hilaire fucking hurt trying to play harder than he needed to in the fourth quarter of a game that they were winning by like twenty points. Ah, uh, they're fine. They're I, fine. I don't know if that was Reed's fault. I mean, that was just a standard run play. But Andy Reed does shit like that weird fucking halfback pass. Yeah, shit to <clears throat> to uh, Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? that yeah, got yeah. thrown for an. Inter- or it wasn't a halfback. It was uh, Sammy Watkins, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, it was a sweep, if I remember right. Hmm. How easily could Patrick Mahomes have just rolled a fucking ankle yeah. on that? Yeah, that was for sure, that, man. You, you've got the division locked up. Yep. Or get taken you're, out. You're coming into the playoffs. Yeah, you need this game. But that was an unnecessary just – you got cute for no fucking reason, and you put your, your golden goose – in harm's way, and I do not understand that at all. On and he other, does that a lot. On the other yeah. side of that, for a person that is betting on these games, <laughs> you love to see that shit. 
because <laughs> we might only need three more points or we just might need this or that. And it's not like a normal NFL game. What's Welcome back to is, the booking house. They are Steve gonna Peters. fucking go. They are gonna they are gonna try. They're gonna make this shit happen. So I, I, I think it's an interesting t- statistic and I haven't looked it up yet. But I would assume probably 95% of the games that the Chiefs have played in this year have gone over mm-hmm. the uh, over the, uh, the the game total spread. Oh, it's a really great thing. But yeah. Please, yeah, don't, we, please don't hurt your players. Yeah. Welcome back to Covet a Spread with Steve Peters. We talk everything gambling. Well. <clears throat> from everything from football to chess. <laughs> and... Oh, tennis. Even... I bet a lot of tennis. Are you, sure you I do. bet a lot <laughs> Sure of you do. I love betting tennis. The only Ooh. thing I know about tennis is always bet on the Swede. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. But in mm-hmm. chess, uh, just bet on the German, I guess. Bet on the German or the Russian. He was either Danish or German. He's been the uh, the chess champion for like five years in a row, and this year was – or last year – was supposed to be the year that he was going to get beat. And Welcome back to, to All back. Things Uninteresting with Steve <laughs> Peters. <laughs> Moving on, thank God. Okay. Um, let's get to uh, something that's not on this list here. Uh, uh, did anybody see the end of the uh, Miami Dolphins and the Las Vegas Raiders game? Yes. I didn't see the start. I did. <laughs> middle or end of it. I bet that you, game, you missed, so I watched it. You missed out. Actually, no, I saw the highlights from it. That's when they won, put Fitzpatrick out. I won good money on that. How do you not like that person? <clears throat> How do you not like Ryan Fitzpatrick? Because of his stupid fucking beard other and his than, Harvard mouth, his uh, queer <laughs> Harvard mouth. Uh, other than that. Uh, oh, I thought you were just asking all his no, negative attributes. No, I'm saying. He's ha- kind of pigeon-toed, um, <laughs> which you can't trust those people. That's true. And he sure. bets on chess. Oh, that is a known <laughs> fact. You cannot trust pigeon-toed uh-uh. people. He pe- he They're bets, half pigeons. That's, that's how they get that way. It's that's, the only way you get that way. That's They're something you and Ryan Fitzpatrick have something in common. You guys bet, like. Fucking religiously. Uh, but no, absolutely amazing comeback. Miami Dolphins mm. end up basically putting in Ryan Fitzpatrick, and he ends up saving the day, gets a face mask, and ends up completing a pass mm-hmm. to set up a field that goal. That was really an amazing yeah. play on his part. He threw his face mask at that guy's hand. <laughs> he did. That was the most no-look pass in NFL, NFL history. history. Because he was his head was, was fucking twisted, twisted around, around like an owl. Yeah. And he still completed a pass, what, 35 yards? Well, or I think like it that, was yeah. more of the receiver than him, but that's Maybe. okay. Just throw in the vicinity Maybe. of in that direction and somebody will catch the ball. What what that tells me is that the Dolphins are playing for right now. Mm-hmm. By putting him in, they are not playing for the future. They're not in a rebuilding year. They're not just trying to get to us some game experience. They're playing for wins. They mm-hmm. want playoffs yeah. now. Yeah, they yeah. do. Which and, and they which might be one of the best turnarounds that I can sure, ever yeah. remember. I mean, Absolutely. They were last awful. year yeah. we were talking about them being the worst the team, team of in all NFL time. It has been it has and been fun to watch them play this year. Even if yeah. you're not a Miami fan, it's been pretty fun to watch them play. They and the bet on them, huh? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course you did. I like dolphins. <laughs> I'm sure Either they're on a football field or they're in the fucking ocean. I still like dolphins. <laughs> He's a and big dolphins, fan of SeaWorld. <laughs> hey, dolphins rape people, too. Sure they do. They rape raiders. Yes. They rape people. Don't do the swim with dolphins thing. Your wife's going <laughs> to get the fucking dolphin bone, guaranteed. Of oh, course. they'll do it to guys, too. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Well, that's that's the only reason to do it as a guy. Yeah, I I was I got raped by either a dolphin or a bum. I don't remember which one. Thing. It was they in, have the exact same dick. It, it was in the back of a box car. Yeah, they have the exact down by same the railroad dick. tracks when I was eighteen. Sure, it has a little screw in it. Sure, it does. And I propositioned for it, but I don't remember how it went. Yeah, Dirt, exactly. Dirty Mike and the boys. Mm-hmm. Dwayne Haskins is finally released vagina. by the Washington Football Team. I love them. Uh huh. Uh, holy shit. That is a first round pick. He was 15th overall in his draft. Mm-hmm. Did you see what he said when he got picked 15th? The NFL just screwed up. Apparently not. That, that, that was his quote. I read that today. <laughs> well, I'm a third rounder at best. Yeah. No. <laughs> he was pissed. He literally, that was his quote. I, I'll have to find it on here. I believe his exact quote was the NFL just. Effed up, I believe, is what it was. Well, this um, is this is our uh, show. Well, I'm just telling you. That's what that's what he said. Oh. Um, you know, I think anybody coming into the NFL, if they don't have the attitude of "I'm the best," I mean, maybe they shouldn't be there. Sure, but yeah, to come out publicly like that. But at that point, he probably didn't have a publicist and anybody to keep him under wraps. 
And you know, I don't. What I don't. With Anthony Brown. Antonio Who? Brown or Anto- yeah, which which one? Which one was? It's okay, it? man. It's okay. Is it Antonio Brown? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know who Anthony <laughs> Brown is, so I'm going to go with Antonio. God damn it, <laughs> Tony <laughs> Brown, up, the guy that froze his foot off. A- Anthony Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> I'm not sure. Damn it. Oh, uh, that's okay. It's all right. This is a comedy show. This is a comedy I show. Know. We just keep we just keep sports in here to keep on going. Mitch, edit that out. Mitch, please. Thank you. Who's Mitch? The guy that took your job. Mm-hmm. You used to be doing that. The guy who edits our show. Oh, Oh, yeah. I like that guy. Yeah. He stays off camera. So my question is, should another team try to pick him up? Yes, of course. He's a good player. I don't think he is. He's not horrible. Well, I guess more of a a better question is, do you think it's the player or do you think it's the system that he was in? Oh, it's a lot of it has to do with his maturity level. I agree. Had he really worked hard and tried to improve himself, but, you know, he's, he's fucking social media... You know, stuck on that shit, making TikToks and whatnot. Well, I think he when he's to... losing, he's partying. Yeah. You know, I, I realize that players... Juju Smith Schuster's doing that shit. Well, he's and fine. he got his ass chewed for it. No, he didn't. I, but I he just stopped he... doing it. He just stopped doing it because he was no, just Mike like, Tomlin Fuck. said he had to talk with him. Oh well, bullshit. I think you have to go into the mentality of the player though too. When he gets drafted fifteenth, and he's like, the NFL just fucked up. Like yeah. they've never seen a fifteenth round draft pick before, but, and <clears> then <throat> he goes to his team and fucks off and doesn't try to prove that he should have been, you know, picked mm-hmm. first and things like that. Again, I think I think you're right. I think you're right on the maturity level. You know, he might look back in five years and be like, "What yeah. the fuck was I?" That's thinking? the thing about Juju. But Juju's yeah, the number can't. one receiver on his team. Not yeah, not right now. And well, but he's been a productive member of sure, the team. Sure, sure. Teams are willing to forgive bullshit if you're a productive member of the team. Yeah, when you're, that, yeah, exactly. When you're exactly. not being productive, yeah. when you're not living up, put to your, your money where your mouth is. Sure. But, you know? And and you know the other thing is is that Tim Brady and Aaron Roberts actually got drafted later. Really? Yeah. It's Tom Brady <laughs> and Aaron Rodgers. I was, I was like, uh, I was like, I was Tim, hoping. I was like, uh, <laughs> it took me a second. It just took me a second. All right. But yeah, Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady got dra- Aaron drafted Aaron later. Is a fucking asshole. It's, I, it's Thomas Brady. Thomas Aaron Rodgers Brady. shouldn't even be in the NFL. Uh, I'm sure. Of course, you would say that. Anyway. Richard. Anyways, uh, and last but not least, I'm going to end on this one. Uh, the New York Jets have officially lost their fucking minds. Uh-huh. They, 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 they have legitimately, I mean, like they've already lost their fucking minds at the beginning of the season, whenever they fuck or well, the middle of the season, when they extended Adam Gase, they lost their fucking minds last year when they hired Adam Gase. But then on top of that, whenever you have a defensive coordinator, that's doing everything you possibly fucking can to make sure that they guarantee getting themselves the very first pick of the 2021 draft. They end up firing him after they lose in a last second fucking a miracle play against the Raiders. And then the new guy comes in and they fucking beat the goddamn Rams. Uh, Thus. The Browns. No, 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 no. Hold on. They beat the Rams. They did. Last week. Now they're on a winning streak. Now they're on a winning streak. So now they have guaranteed that they are not going to get the number one fucking pick. Of the twenty one, okay. of the twenty one draft. Just to clarify, we are talking about the J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. Jets, Jets. 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 Okay, um, yeah. Here's what's more troubling oh. to me is that the Cleveland Browns, who are in playoff contention, did not approach this game with more urgency. I disagree. They were they they were they, it was basically Baker Mayfield and uh, Hooper, the tight end. Uh huh. The wide receiving core was out with COVID. So they had no wide receivers in that game. They should be so, able to put us on that team and beat the Jets. I get it. That's true. But that is true. There and was my, like a, my money said that, too. Yeah. And the, but the fire <laughs> under their ass to try and win the game against the Cleveland Browns to hey, make the Cleveland sure. Browns have been doing okay this the Cleveland year. Browns have been doing I, fine. I but thought they would handle them I, easily. I, everybody did. Everybody did. did. Yeah. But no, that's the point. Is it's like, no, as a Jets fan, do you want them to win or go, I don't want to fuck this up any more that we already have over the last fifteen fucking years. Well you you sealed that now you Just, cannot get that number one pick. You are still gonna get a good pick in the draft. But right. I'm but I'm questioning whether or not right because there's Trevor that Lawrence, number one overall and then there's the rest yeah, yes that's true. It, yeah. and this and, and this it's going to be Trevor Trevor Lawrence right and you could have tried to go after him and he could have basically dropped out and you'd have been fucked yeah. so did they get to a point where it's like well we do obviously want Trevor Lawrence but he didn't want to come here now what do you do you kinda, do you really want somebody to, to do you want to force someone 
to go someplace they don't want to. They don't want to well, be. Fuck because then, then you have another situation of Dwayne Haskins here where he's where he's an asshole because he thinks he should have been picked sooner and things like that. Don't get he doesn't fuck. want to be there. He's not gonna put he's not gonna put in the effort. He he's wasn't not gonna, the, he was not the absolute no. number one you pick know, that year. I, I understand. Yeah. Haskins, but, well, I, 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 there's mentality. Mentality I, goes into sports more so than yes. talent sometimes. Yeah, I oh, mean, especially your, at the your quarterback head position. Has yeah, got quarterback. to be one hundred and ten percent in where you're at. Sure. You have to believe in what you're doing. You have to believe in your city, your fans, everything there is to believe in. And if they don't, let them go. Right. It's, Ryan, it's not worth it. Ryan you know? Leaf had all the talent to be a good NFL quarterback. Sure. But he lost he didn't have it up here. Right. And that's what, what lost it for him. It's sure. amazing how much of a mental aspect really does go into these things. Absolutely. Oh, it's crazy. It happens in every sport, especially yeah. like it baseball. Does. Yeah. It, yeah. If whether you walk into the batter's box thinking you're going to get a hit or whether you're going to strike out, makes a difference. Either one, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you go in there believing you're going to yep. get a hit, that makes a huge difference. It does. That's right. it does definitely. So uh, your MVPs. That happened to me in Little I League. wanted to briefly talk about this. Your MVPs. Very of, uh, briefly, Scotty. Very briefly. Keep it brief. Your, oh, the first one. Your, your fantasy. Shorten it up. Your fantasy football <laughs> MVPs of the year. If you're if you're in a good fantasy football league, and end on uh, week 16 instead of 17, except for next year, I guess they're expanding the league, but or they expanding the season. But anyways, uh, as a running, seems like you're dwelling on this too much. As a running back, who would be <clears throat> your MVP? Oh. Yeah, buddy. Uh-huh. Yeah, buddy. It'd be Alvin Kamara. He scored the most points in a standard league. Uh, I had that guy. Yeah. Um, as a as a tight end, who who would it be? I don't know. That'd be Travis Kelsey. Okay, he was on my team too. Hmm. Um, now, he, now here's I don't really here, follow football. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You get wide receivers. <laughs> he's more of a figure. He's skating more. Yeah, he's a, he loves yeah. figure skating. Um, and chess. Wide receivers for the gambling. Aspect. The two top wide receivers uh, this year. You got to give to Tyree Kill and Devontae Adams. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Those are the I two don't. guys that scored the most points. Like okay. Tyree Kill. Here's, here's you the thing a, you about Tyree re- Kill. Yeah. Tyree Kill had. A handful of just games where he went off. Sure. He, I, in fantasy, I would much rather have consistency Yep. over the weeks. You're right. Uh, this happened to me a few years ago. Jamal Charles. Fuck you. It happened this year. Uh, Jamal Charles was like ranked the number one overall pick one year uh-huh. where they were saying the year before he averaged like 104 yards a game in uh, overall yards and one touchdown a game. Yeah. Well, I had him the year before, and he scored five touchdowns in one game, mm-hmm. which helped me out that week. Sure. But... That means for four weeks he didn't score a touchdown. Sure, to sure. average that out. Yeah, and that didn't help me win any other games. That's true. So that's true. Especially fuck Jamal Charles is what I'm saying. I get it. I get fuck well, Jamal Charles and everybody who looks like Jamal Charles. Especially this year. Also, the number one quarterback in points uh, was uh, Kyler Murray. Who had him? I did. How'd you do? I can't get on board with Kyler Murray. Dude. I do. I like. I Kyler. cannot I get do. on board do, with like that guy. Second place was Josh Allen. If you Allen. asked any Brian Boitano stat, he has mm-hmm. it. Fuck yeah! Sure. You want like Brian Boitano? Dude, dude yeah. did a double triple sow cow. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's much more impressive than anything <laughs> that Alvin did. I won my ever fantasy did. figure skating league. <laughs> Let's see that fucking Alvin so. Kamara do six triple axles in yeah. a fucking row. He could do it's it. It's not gonna happen. No, he he's can't. not gonna happen. He'll he break his ankles. That's exactly. Fucking no, weak. Then he's he'll t- never get he's, six he's fucking touchdowns. He's too low to the ground. Let's see Alvin Kamara take it in the ass like some of these guys do. I probably could do that. Yeah, and the defense. Uh, Orleans, M- a lot of debauchery. Pittsburgh and Miami. Fuck Pittsburgh. Miami. Miami was one of the I best like defenses. Miami. So so here's the scary what about thing. Indianapolis. Uh, Indianapolis was not. Uh, they were a little bit further down. Really? Yep. yep. I know at one time they had the best scoring defense. At one point in time they did. Miami ended up passing them, believe it or not. Well, good Isn't that me. crazy? Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our question segment. This is Jeremy's favorite segment right. that we do. What's this segment called? Is this uh this is the one with the gambling addicts anonymous? Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, it's called Preguntas. It's this sponsored is... by Fanger Bang. Mm-hmm. Fanger Love Bang that. Beer. Fanger Bang Beer. <laughs> anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you Is it imported? Is it a microbrew? We don't know. <laughs> It's something Jeremy concocted out of his fucking head. The answer is yes. <laughs> Anyways. Fanger bang and finger bang light. We love it when you guys send us questions. I try to keep on track. With, I mean, obviously, there, is so, there are so many of them coming from Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook even. So if you do have a question and I haven't 
responded. Bear with me. I'm trying to keep up with thousands of you, okay? And some so, of you are just writing no stupid to, questions. There's no need to brag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Get a real podcast, you fucking asshole. Hundreds of thousands of questions. <laughs> Dude, Jeez. Scotty's mailbag is overflowing. It's like the old Santa's workshop with the, the bag that just overflows. We're going to go letters. zooming and it's, zooming around the big one. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a pirate's treasure chest of letters. Yeah. That's great. Can't close it. So uh, so this is the segment where we like to take some of your questions. And, oh, he and missed it. Give them. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. <laughs> I need it under 64 and a half. That's I'm good not for me. Turn it off. Do you, okay. you want to uh, you want to go be by yourself somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> we can handle it from here on out. <laughs> Anyways, our, our first question comes from Baker, a Baker uh, a listener at the Real TP. Would you rather it be common knowledge that you slept with Helen Keller or Caitlyn Jenner? Jeremy, I thought we answered this last week, but I'll go ahead and answer it again. Okay, um, I'm going to go with Caitlyn Jenner. Why? I'll tell you why. If you pork Helen Keller, who's she going to tell? That's true. How's she going to know it was you? You did. We did. God damn it. We did do that question. Nice. Well, I'll give him credit again. Okay. Hmm. Caitlyn Jenner, let's not forget at one time, was the world's greatest athlete. That's true. That's true. So it would be like riding a bull. Mm-hmm. True. She could buck you off at any time. Yep. Or, I don't know, if she's got all her equipment down there, maybe you could try and buck her off. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. But she's going to hit you with a shot put. Yep. Uh, and pole vault, yeah. This is a good opportunity to let uh, let Steve answer. So, Steve, would you rather it be common knowledge that you slept with Helen Keller or Caitlyn Jenner? It's going to be Caitlyn Jenner. Are you I, uh, fucking here, Here's my reason. She's going to take that javelin. I've never fucked anybody on a Wheaties box before, and I thought it was going to be Tanya Harding. <laughs> but let's go ahead and, and did you see her porn? Because it'd be worse than fucking Caitlyn Jenner, guaranteed. That chick <laughs> she, is disgusting. She's fucking rough now, ain't she? She's a <laughs> landscaper. If you fuck That's Helen, what she does for a living. Oh. Oh uh, my! <laughs> okay, so if but it, speaking like of the said, lawnmower, yeah, exactly. Manscaped, yeah. yeah, yeah. She needs to be, I don't know, mm. it's zombie scaped or something. But anyway, I like her. if uh, mm. it, 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 yeah, Helen Keller, we, you, you you have no idea. It's like, did you come? She's like, <laughs> you have no clue whatsoever. She can't even sign that shit, dude. The thing Caitlyn about Helen Jenner, Keller is you can save a lot of money on ball gags. Could Caitlyn True. Jenner? Could Caitlyn Jenner? Has she been? Has she gotten that thing turned inside out? Nope. Yet? That's what we don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. She won't tell me. She's not returning my email. So here's the deal: um, you could verify. Finally, this would be worth it if you had to just do it in her ass. It's fine, but you you could feel around and see if there's still nuts there, and then you could sell that fucking story to like I don't know USA Today or whatever it is. Wouldn't be worth make it. Make a little money on the deal. Wouldn't be worth it. And then I'd bet that money. Nope. Helen Keller. Helen uh, Keller, you could yell out, who's the miracle worker now? <laughs> but it still doesn't have that same ring. Yeah, next Helen question. Helen Keller is oblivious to flashbangs uh, and grenades. Yeah, it's we on a T-shirt, by the way. Edit that out, Mitch. Nope. Uh, at at CA Blaze 582 what can you say about your spouse and your vehicle? She uses a lot more synthetic lubrication. <laughs> Okay. She didn't used to use so much. Now that the miles are getting up there. <laughs> sure could use somebody going in with a wrench and some tools and just tightening things up. Oh, goodness gracious. Squirting her down with some oil. <laughs> okay. Uh, they both have seated or they both have heated seats. <laughs> okay. She leaks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but the red transmission fluid coming out of the car is a little easier to deal with than the red transmission fluid coming out of her. Because oh one of them is going to be less bitchy when they're leaking transmission fluid. I can't wait to trade this thing in on a newer model. Oh, God, they both hate having something shoved up their tailpipe. Yay. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Banana I... or otherwise. <laughs> Banana, potato, any produce, really. <laughs> yep, sure got that one right. Okay. Thank you very much at CA Blaze. Next one. Cat Blaze. Uh, okay, fine. At Wyatt Young 505 what's the funniest drinking story that you were involved in? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell mine first because I know I'm going to be faster than fuckhead over here trying to open a beer. Oh, shit. One time I was in high school, I was, uh, it was actually New Year's, which we are coming close to. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year, almost. Um, and uh, I was in high school, I drank way too much, and, uh, and I don't remember anything after about 8.30. Uh, it turned out that they uh, had a search party for me because nobody could find me in the house that we were all in. Nice. Um, and uh, we were at a pretty big house, and so they were searching room to room, couldn't find me, calling my cell phone. My cell phone wasn't off. It kept on ringing, but they couldn't find me. They just figured it was on silent. Well, it was common knowledge back when I was in high school. If you need to go to the bathroom, all the bathrooms are full. Go outside, pee outside, and that's where you went. Mm -hmm. um, well, I apparently found my I, – well, I apparently went outside to go to the bathroom, not in the backyard, but in the front yard, and somebody else was apparently getting close to as drunk as I was at that particular point in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were still calling my phone looking for me, and uh, they found me in the front yard with my pants around my ankles, and they found me by my ringtone, which was the Mario sound of the video game nice do, do 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 and i was passed out with my dick in my hand by the way in a rose bush tell me you were was getting chewed cold? on by a turtle was it no. cold outside uh i it was fucking january bro oh it was so new it year's. smaller than normal it doesn't matter i had uh, rose bush fucking spikes in his I dick had, was in his hand like this he um, was holding it sure. between his forefinger and sure. his my thumb. no i was just face new down year's in a rose bush my senior year of high school, New Year's Eve. You know what? I'm not going to tell that story because it's going to bring things down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please don't. Don't bring it down. Bring it up. That's when he had his first abortion. <laughs> oh, God. Doctor said it was very unnecessary. <laughs> I said I want to make sure. <laughs> Good God. Cut it out. Anyway. Yep. Move the, move the microphone back here. Dude. It's, you're, you're, yeah, oh, you're it, way off. Yeah, Mike. you're way off, bro. I wanted it that way. Well, I don't. People, I don't care what you want, Scotty. Hey, Say it about you. Hey, that's better. There it that's is. Better. Anyways, what? Uh, uh, you're you're drinking. Is this sugar. better? Oh God, oh, Jesus. Anyways, right, go Jeremy. Ahead. Yeah. Uh, what is your story? If you would okay, like new I, car speakers, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to PO Box. <laughs> six. I have one. Six. <laughs> you, you've already alluded we are close to being. We're short on time. We're, we're running long. Yeah. Um. So I don't know that I should tell it. Plus, I'm not a hundred percent sure that the statute of limitations uh, applies yet. Okay. Because uh, it does involve a felony, a fairly serious one. Oh. Um, can, oh. Can we tell a different story? That'd be good. Because you have it, you, you have it told the story. We've teased all the time about the story about you and a not not alcohol, but a particular thing that makes you go to bed. Roofies? Okay, uh, which one do you want to tell about? The, about the uh, one the... that nobody's heard, not the most recent one, but the fucking funniest one. Okay. Um. Little known fact about me: I am a uh, chronic. Insomniac, uh -huh. chronic severe insomniac. Most of my life, I went maybe getting one to two hours sleep a night, if that. Wow. Um, I was first diagnosed when I was 13 years old by one of the world's foremost terrible doctors, <laughs> uh, who said that. It was Dr. Uh, Caitlin Jenner. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> At least it'd be more interesting. Um, yes. Um, he diagnosed me as uh, saying that this was probably just a phase I was going through. And that it would probably pass on its own. So basically, this doctor's uh, advice was to ignore it and hope it goes away. Oh my! He also said that uh, I should try to tell myself that I don't need sleep to try and trick my mind into falling asleep. Um, I don't know if you've ever pulled a practical joke on anyone or not, but it's damn <laughs> tough when you're in on it. Um <laughs> There's a reason you never saw the episode where Ashton punked himself. <laughs> you can't oh trick my. yourself when you oh know my. what you're doing. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. um, so I just kind of lived with it. Uh, and for the next 20 some odd years until I was 32 years old and went to my new doctor who picked up my old doctor's torch and fucking ran with it. Nice. Uh, his advice on everything is to lose some weight and get some exercise, oh, that's solid. which is what he said to this. He said, you should lose some weight, get a little exercise. That'll wear down some energy, make it a little more easy to get comfortable in bed. Um, 
basically he told me I was too fat and lazy to sleep. <laughs> and uh, bro, I shopped in the husky section. That's <laughs> I get it. So I cannot I believe how offended he was when I asked for a second opinion. <laughs> so he sent me to a sleep specialist, and who diagnosed me right away. And I was like, oh, great. This is going to take like therapy for months, right? And I'm going to have to keep coming back once, twice a week. And she was like, or I could just write your prescription for Ambien. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. <that's> right. <laughs> Finally, a fucking solution. <laughs> a doctor who actually fucking dealt with the problem. And so I take Ambien, which is a, uh, a hypnotic sedative. Um, a lot of people have reported problems with it. Like they'll wake up on their fucking roof <laughs> or behind the wheel of their car in a foreign parking lot somewhere. Um, for, for me, typically, I take it about an hour before I go to bed. Nice. And I fade off to sleep mm -hmm. and I don't have any problems with it. But one time <laughs> <laughs> around nine o'clock, I took it. And then my wife asked me to change a light bulb, and I went and changed it. What the fuck? And then looked at the clock and went, oh, fuck, it's 9.15. I better take my Ambien. <laughs> oh, no, you so, didn't. Yep, double dosing. Oh, shit. So about 15 that minutes. That could, like, hurt. Like, that could kill you, right? I mean, is that I, is it pretty dangerous? I'm not a doctor. Oh. <laughs> fuck. Oh, that's, wait. That's really I can tell sad. you for a fact, no, it won't kill me. Oh. Um, <laughs> So, anyways, about uh, nine thirty, after double dosing, I uh, spring up from the couch with my wife and son sitting there, and declare that I'm going to make dessert. <laughs> We've already had dinner and dessert, and they're insisting, "No, we don't want dessert." <laughs> I'm insisting, yes, they do. <laughs> My wife had gone to the bakery at, at uh, the grocery store and gotten some apple turnovers. Nice. I take three of them out because there were three of us. Nice. The first two I picked up like they were plums and I squeezed them and weighed and measured them and set them ginger gingerly into the microwave. The third one I fired like a fucking fastball. <laughs> <laughs> right in there. Oh, that's great. I start the microwave, and I turn around and begin yelling at my wife. Not in an angry way, but in a way that would suggest she's across the house. Well, you know. She was right there. <laughs> and I told her to be sure and set the DVR. I'll be sure. Be sure and set the DVR to record Hardcastle and McCormick. Oh, my. A show that had been off the air since 1982. <laughs> Apparently, I was afraid some new episodes might come out, and I didn't want to miss them. By the way, I didn't watch that show when it was on. <laughs> At this point, my wife goes and runs to the microwave because I set it for 12 minutes. <laughs> Pre th these had already been baked. I'm just warming them up. <laughs> she shuts the so microwave, and I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're done. <laughs> I apparently put mine on a plate and went and sat down on the couch. Did you get any ice cream? I'm getting there. <laughs> I did down. not get ice cream. Oh. I cut off a big bite of the apple turnover and was about to put it in my mouth when I dropped my fork, oh, which warm. saved me from third degree burns <laughs> because I could not find my fork because... Oh. Me. Because I lost my fork in on? my belly fold <laughs> that hung over my lap. It was at least an hour before I found it. <laughs> Holy shit. That's great. We, uh. we have a security system at the house mm -hmm. with video cameras that get sound. <laughs> nice. And so sometimes when guests come over, <laughs> guess what my wife wants to show people? <laughs> That's why I know the details of it, because I don't remember any of it. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. That's what Ambien does for me. Oh, goodness gracious. I, uh, there you go. I, Good I, for you. 
That fucking hurt. All right, that one's. Let's go to the. What? What about what? what, Do you want to go on to the next question? What'd you do? Place a weird bet, Steve? No, (laughs) my wife. I I I have kind of a long story about my wife pissing in the dishwasher at our best friend's one year old kid's birthday party. But that's not your drinking story. And you kind of. I was a part of it. It says says a part. What can you say about? Uh, what's the funniest drinking story that you were involved in? Okay. Uh, Watching my wife piss in a dishwasher at a one-year-old's birthday party was something I was involved in. Did she sing happy birthday while doing no. it? No. Please tell me uh, she did. But here's the craziest fucking part. My buddy and his wife are sitting there on the other side of the wall in their living room. We were all playing cards. She just got up, passed out drunk off the couch and goes and starts pissing in the dishwasher. I look around the corner and turn back to my wife and his and or my my buddy and his wife. And I go, oh, my God, she's pissing in your fucking dishwasher. <laughs> and my buddy's like, he has the most look of terror ever on his face. And his wife goes, oh, I've done that a bunch of times. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, seriously, is that something women do? Do I, they just piss in the dishwasher? At least it's got a drink. <laughs> no joke. Yeah, she just said, just close it and start it. I when, swear to God, I a whole was... bunch of women, whenever they, whenever they know that they're getting us back, Especially our wives, they they see us using utensils that they've washed in absolute piss that they just yeah, squatted over in the is. dishwasher. Do your own They're dishes, like, motherfucker. <laughs> Here's the deal: if you, you want to load them wrong again, if yeah. you have a wife, you need to put a bell on them like a fucking cat. They'll just piss anywhere. <laughs> okay. Now, when I was in college, my cousin Dave, who sadly passed away this year, oh, I'm um, sorry. He came and visited me and was sleeping on the couch in my uh, trailer that we were renting and got up about three in the morning and pissed in my furnace vent. Oh, (laughs) so so that might smell a little worse. By the way, Dave. Is it like one of those floor heaters? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, Um, (laughs) well, no, it was just the the floor register. Oh, okay, okay. But but Dave. It's a little easier. Dave was at the time 5'9 and about 400 pounds. And so uh, just got up, waved to us like this was normal, <laughs> and yeah, my wife did the same. Pissed thing. in the floor register. <laughs> Weird. Smiled. Big uh, smile. All right, moving uh-huh. on to the next question. For the love of God. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, Bacter underscore ninety seven. Oh, here we go. If you down. have, if you had a pregame ritual in, uh, okay, if you had a pregame ritual that you had to do in front of a crowd, what would it be? I'd toss searing hot apple turnovers into the crowd. <laughs> Is this for like a like we're a we're a <laughs> yeah, you're, sports person? Yeah, you're a sports person. I would helicopter my dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, too small to helicopter. That's the joke. Oh god! It just flings up and down. <laughs> well, we don't know that. It doesn't yeah. go around. We don't know that. You're a big guy, Steve. Mm. Um, you want me to? No. If I was like an elite athlete. I would. That I would will never uh, happen. I, no, I'm telling you, if I was an elite athlete and I had a pregame ritual, mm-hmm. I would try to appear to be as unathletic as humanly possible. I, I would. I would do it on purpose. So basically, be you. Yes. Okay. I would try as hard <laughs> as I could to look like the piece of shit that I really am, mm-hmm. and then go out and just fucking stomp them. Sure, you would. That's what I do. You've already killed that. Shut deal. up. Mm-hmm. That's great. You've Fuck. mastered it. Fuck off. Okay. Douchebag. What else hey, we got? Uh, let's see. Ooh, I got a good one. Hmm. Uh, what's something inappropriate to do to someone's ashes? Jeremy? <sighs> Put them in your cat's litter box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would say if you've run out of flour and you have no other choices and it's <laughs> Christmas and all the stores are closed, don't use their ashes. <laughs> mm-hmm. They'll still work. Mm-hmm. But it's just not something that you could be proud of. Yeah, for flour is mostly filler anyway. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I mean, they make a hearty dinner roll, but it's disrespectful. That's true. Comes so, out in the toilet. So anyways, at work, uh, at work, a lot of people drink coffee. I don't drink mm. coffee. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. You see where this is going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is out of a movie. If, if you have that relative that, that was an absolute, my favorite word, cunt. Yay. And they wanted to be, you know, sprinkled across the lake or, you know, sprinkled up in the mountains or Mount Everest or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. But they were really a cunt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's getting mixed in with the coffee for the people at work that are assholes. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I'm doing. I like it. Yeah, that I was like on uh, the uh, that movie Netflix with Robert movie. Downey Jr. and uh, Netflix Zach Galifianakis. Yep. It wasn't yep. a Netflix movie. It was a oh, it was uh, a movie. Due uh, date. Yeah, due yeah. Date. It was kind of oh, the same that was thing. Dope as fuck. I love uh, the was, Frenchie in that. It was movie. a good. It was a good flick that gave me the idea. But yeah, I'm doing it my own way. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Next thing. Uh-huh. Uh What's something you shouldn't say to someone on their deathbed? Oh, lots of shit. <laughs> it's true. Okay. As soon as that last breath comes, I'm going to put my balls on your lips. <laughs> Just whisper it right in their ear, <laughs> seductively. Oh my god! Um, now you uh, rest, now, Grandma. I was <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you had a hot grandma, though. Yeah, so I sure did. She bad. was pretty hot. Uh, um, I would say I told you not to eat that cake that I had to substitute the flour. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> Scotty, what do you got, buddy? Uh, I had something kind of along the lines of what Jeremy was thinking, mm-hmm. uh, but I, I I thought of it a little bit differently. Um, I thought that immediately, whenever they're getting really close, that I'm going to whisper in uh, his ear that uh, I'm I'm cutting your dick off if you die. Yeah. Well, you should have drawn that out a little longer. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. That was. Uh, I, I was gonna call in a priest for. Last I think he'd rides, live a little bit longer in hell. I think. I think he'd live a little bit longer. Maybe. Either that or dress dress oh, up. Yeah, as, they'd hold on. Oh, can yeah, you imagine dress up as death and like and like turn the lights off and like come in there really really slow? I'd just be like, gotcha. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but then you got to rent great. a Grim Reaper costume. That's yeah, a lot of hassle. So what? That's seven dollars, not well spent. Uh-huh. If, if you've got, if you've got that kind of time and you can do that, I think mm-hmm. that would more be like a, that, that kind of fun. money. Steve's got to play some bets. Okay, this is this is this is one. This is one that's really really tough for me. Hmm. Would you rather give up boobs or beer for the rest of your life? Boobs. Just just boobs. I mean. Yeah, it's what easy. What is that? Yeah, no, 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 you don't, fat you, ass. you don't, you can't, it, it, it boobs, boobs or beer? Boobs. Here's the deal. You can do whiskey and still see boobs, but no, you have to I give up really beer. Do, do women beer. still have boobs? Not really, not unless they're fake. They got to feel feed like rocks. kids. And, hey, I mean, do I get to look at porn? What? What's, yeah, what's the this stipulation? Mean? They're fake? This is a stupid fucking question, Scotty. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey. Yeah, 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 they, may yeah, yeah. Be, they may be fake, but they got real fucking skin on them. Right. I, I don't care about but that. But they have <laughs> baseballs in there. No, like no, no, no. That's a like bad this. boob job. That's a bad oh, boob job. Yeah. Oh, beer bah. or no, boobs. No respectable surgeon would put baseballs in there. Yeah. And, or maybe the f- most fucking hilarious surgeon maybe of all time. he's a fucking Cardinals he fan. Dude. <laughs> if you do that with, with a fucking t-ball team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put the ball in there and have them just whack away. Oh, yeah. Gravity do its work. Uh huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, anyways, what would you rather give up? Beer, That's how you do boobs a swing drill. Boobs. Um, boobs. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah baseball easy. titties. Crazy one. Oh no no no. I, I'm I'm a boobs guy. Sorry. Mm. Beer's going away. Whiskey's coming back though. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's something? Whiskey never went away. Shut up. Uh, what's something you should never say to your spouse? <laughs> I fucked your sister. <laughs> I, there's lots of shit. Um, just. Something? I mean, especially if you didn't fuck her sister. Ugh. You should never say that. Nope. Mine's serious. I'd rather fuck your sister. There Don't you say go. that. That's a good one. There you go. That's a good that one. That is a good one. You look fine. <laughs> Don't do that. Yes, Don't. that makes your ass look big. <laughs> Don't do that shit. No, you no, you look fine. No, that's not that's not good enough. It's got to be you look like an absolute princess, beautiful as can be. You you yeah. are the apple of my eye and and the the beat that keeps on pumping my heart. Sure. I think you really have a high maintenance wife. Do you know how hot my wife is? Mhm. See? Shut yeah. the fuck up, Jeremy. I did good. Okay. Got it. Yeah, and I guess uh, you would probably need to do that for maintenance purposes. Every time. Steve uh, your brother sucks better dick than you. Whoa, fuck. Oh, my God. He's right. You shouldn't say that. You should not you should say, never that. say that. Never Even say that. Even if he does. He's gay. He's very gay. <laughs> he just sucks better dick. Oh, God damn okay. it. Okay. Did All you right. pull a question off of here? No. No? I didn't. I thought there was yeah. another one. Uh, there is. Okay. Uh, no, the last question. Oh, no. We got, we got two more. Uh, what's a movie quote that you say every day of your life? Oh, yeah, 
Um, well, there's one from Happy Gilmore. Uh huh. When he misses the putt. Mm. Oh, it's fuck so me in the fucking ass. <laughs> I, I yell That's that out good. a lot. Um, does he actually say that at that movie? He does. Yeah, they yeah. beep it because you're it. just watching oh, it on TV. Oh, that's right. That's right. Ah, uh, fuck me right in the fucking ass. There you go. Um, but the other ones, uh, basically anything that Doc Holliday says on Tombstone. <laughs> okay. Isn't that a daisy? Yeah. I'll be a huckleberry. Yeah. Any of that shit. Going the other side of that, I usually have the, well, bye. <laughs> Uh, and it's usually on social media when people try and come with some big tirade that yeah. they're leaving the group because blah 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 blah. Yeah. And then I just post the meme or whatever that says. Mine's really the, close. The we, saying, we've well, used bye, bye Felicia. There it is. I use that one on a I, yeah. I like that one too. Bye Felicia. Yeah. Later Craig. Especially if it's with a guy named Craig. Mm-hmm. That's just the money. I try not to hang out with people named Craig. Yep. Yeah. And I'm like the plague. Okay, fine. Last one. Uh, right. This was a question asked. It was the same question asked by two people. Oh, we have page two? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. It's up there. Oh. I got it. Calm down. Oh. Uh, they There was the same question asked by two people, so I get them both credit. Uh, first of all, uh, at Risa Renee 2 You don't have to put the at. Uh, yeah, I do because that's on TikTok. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. But uh, one of our one of We're Jeremy's, not on TikTok. Jeremy's favorite <laughs> names. Reichenfrost? Ah, yeah, okay. sure. Yeah. Uh, their question is, if you could put swearing in a Disney movie, which movie would it be? Oh, I think one of those good, innocent ones, like Fox and the Hound, or is that? That'd be good. Yeah. That would I'm be a good. fucking hound dog. I'm a, yeah. yeah that'd be <laughs> I'm a fucking really hound dog, good. you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> or... Like one that's already been banned because Disney's had several movies. Several in. Song of the South. Oh no! Yeah. If if you could put swearing into Zippity Doodah, that <laughs> dude. <laughs> Any Mary Poppins movie. Oh yeah, oh, fucking dope. Spoonful of sugar helps the fucking medicine go down. Yeah, that'd be good. You stupid shit. fucking kids, shut the fuck up and take your medicine. That's the end of the song. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the fu- <laughs> They just take the songs out of it. They just <laughs> shut take- up, take your fucking medicine. <laughs> it's true. Or I'm going to ram it down your fucking good. throat. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shove it up your super you califragilistic kind of XBL. This is actually kind of a loaded question because Disney owns rights to some raunchy ass movies now too. sure sure. sure yeah you know well yeah because they own Pixar, star they own wars Green. right they own yeah. star oh, fuck wars. Yeah. oh yeah yeah so you could have chewy rather than going Rrr. he's just like fuck you luke <laughs> like every time that would be great oh yeah there's a lot oh r2d2 who gets fucking bullied the uh, entire uh, time what if r2d2 didn't make the whistle and he Dude. was just like fuck if off that luke. Was just, yeah if that was all just <laughs> fuck 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 <laughs> That would be great. There's a thing on YouTube. I recommend everybody go watch it. The original Star Wars, Uh A New Hope. Yeah. At the end scene when they're presenting Luke and Han with the medals, Mm -hmm. they've taken all the score music out of that and like really accentuated all the footsteps and (laughs) and everything. (laughs) And then just, and then they've replaced Chewie's, uh, his. Oh, God. They they replaced that with just. And That's it's fucking great. But yeah, they because because honestly, they don't say anything. They don't say what the medals yeah. are for or what yeah. they're doing. Yeah, you're right. You just assume and it's why like they're the knighted fuck did, or some yeah. shit. It was I, weird. I realize yeah. they say they went back and fixed the problem in this most recent movie, but they didn't. Fucking they didn't. Chewie should have gotten one. Oh yeah, he should. And those three movies should have never it, been made. Is it just me or is John Favreau getting way too much credit? He's not. He's, he's not uh, George Lucas. It's just no, not, it's not no sir. He's not because he's writing some wrongs, and uh, the the Mandalorian is amazing. These chairs hurt my. And ass. they're coming out with a no. Boba Fett series, which I'm glad they're doing because they certainly just made him disappointing. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. All right, I like it. So uh, that is our question segment. You guys, you can send us your questions at Laughing on the Sidelines. Google that shit, and then you'll find all kinds of platforms that you can send me those on. So yeah. Anyways, moving mm. on, we get to get on to a, a very interesting draft. I think this one's going to be kind of fun. Mm. Um, one of and the Steve, you're not allowed to correct me that's on correct. any of these. Um, we were running long. No, 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 no. Huh? We're, 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 we are. Favorite. Oh yeah, this is this is this is the this is the thing that we do, and um, this is going to be a little bit interesting. Okay. So I, I kept this kind of in the back pocket. I saw somebody else give this answer, but 
this one fits very well with what draft we're going to have. So the last question of our question segment oh, was, if you could out. take a Disney movie like and an put cussing in the Disney movie, mm-hmm. which movie would it be? And I saw a very, very great, great answer, and that was The Incredibles. And have it be Samuel L. Jackson oh, as yeah. Frozone going, Honey, where's my motherfucking super suit? It's true. Bam. Mm. And that kind of stroked the, uh, or it actually gave me the idea of uh, this this uh, draft that we're going to do today. Mm-hmm. Um, it is going to be our favorite Samuel L. Jackson movie roles. Okay. Good. Okay. So uh, I won. Derek's not here. I can't. Why do I never get a brag to this motherfucker? Well, God. I don't think you've won yet. I no no. I won last week. Oh, I won last week, so I pick that's, last. That's was, why he picked this week. To it do was the really gender, a pity, bro. It was a surgery. fuck. No, I got so many comments that Scotty did something great for mm-hmm. a change, um, but still, nonetheless, Scotty did something great for once. So okay. yeah. So uh, for this week, you are the guest. You get to take the spot. You get to pick Whoa. first. Whoa. So. Then it would okay. go Jeremy, and then yeah. I get to pick twice, and it's a snake draft. So do I one. give do I give you all of them up front? No, 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 no. one by one, one okay. and that's so, why you have to have a uh, decent list. Let's see here. Uh, Who's your number one pick? What movie is your number, number one? one? The other guys, Detective Highsmith. Okay, hmm. that's one of my favorite movies. That's fine. It's not on any of our lists, so we'll just yeah. go ahead and move on. Go ahead, uh, there, Jeremy. I'm going to go with his role as Morpheus in The Matrix. That was pretty good. Okay. Yeah, right. he did. He did really good in that. Sure, that he did. <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna go with my very first one and, and kind of, kind of um, redeem ourselves over this Die Hard bullshit. And I'm gonna take mm-hmm. Zeus Carver in Die Hard with a Vengeance. I had that one. No, you didn't, motherfucker. I did. That is it's right my, there. No, number no. thirteen. My favorite one. In honesty, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. I like it. Uh, and I get another pick because we're going back. You got to take this like is this probably is the number one that everybody would go would, would say, and that is uh, Ju- uh, Jules Winfield in Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I had that one too. Yeah, but, but I get two. That should have been so. So, one. so now you get to you get to go again there, uh, Mister okay. Steve. Uh, no, I get to go. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. You took first. I apologize. Yeah, go go ahead, Jeremy. I'm going with Boys in the Hood. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that uh, was. Uh, shut up! Not, shut up! We're gonna keep going. Don't don't say anything. <laughs> All right. Um, um, but hey, you get the next pick. Go ahead. All right. Well, I'm not gonna pick Ricky from Boys in the Hood, so I'm no. gonna go with Django Unchained. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. So uh, I might has I might as well go ahead and and uh, pick these uh, these two back to back. Oh, I have a great one. No, don't you dare take it. I don't you dare take great it. Great one. Nope. I'm going to go with, uh, let's see. Ooh, maybe it, should I do it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, fuck. No. No. Yeah. I'm going to take Mace Windu in Phantom Menace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, mm-hmm. it, well, it, well, in Phantom Menace, he actually did uh, two other movies after that, but Mace Windu. And then I'm going to take, yeah. I'm, no, get the fuck off my list, bro. What you got over there. No, bro, you ain't gonna do it. What's Doyle something? I no, I, I'm I'm gonna go with uh, Neville Flynn in Snakes on a Motherfucking Plane. Uh huh. Get these motherfucking snakes off this motherfucking plane. That's right. Okay. That's pretty famous for him. Actually. Uh, it is. That it's is a it's a very pretty, famous quote. That's why is. that's it's why I'm going good. with that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, you uh, or uh, Jeremy gets to go. <clears throat> I loved him as. As uh, Ike Turner in What's Love Got to Do With It? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I am going to go with uh, National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon 1. Lethal wep- oh, loaded no. Weapon? Loaded, loaded, loaded Weapon 1. Loaded Weapon 1. Yeah. Oh, loaded shit. Weapon. That is, I was uh, doing comedy movies. That's like that. Okay. That. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, so does this mean this is my last pick? Mm-hmm. Your last two. N- no, I've got four. No, he has four. He only has one more pick. Yeah, or does it? No, do you go twice? Yeah, I, I I'm up. But yeah, you're you up. You're up. You're up. Yeah, I've got four. Oh man, because you're the sandwich. So this is your fifth pick. Is it? No, yeah. this is like my fourth. I don't know. 
We, we probably fucked it up. Yeah, we did. Okay, whatever. I'm sure. Probably. I think I'm the only one that needs two picks. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Um, yeah, I three. I liked him in Mission Impossible. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That was pretty good. I uh, So do I get two picks? Because <laughs> you guys have had five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You, you go, yeah, because you were so, first, and then it goes oh, back. That's, oh, okay, right. that, yeah, that's yeah, where yeah, we're yeah. at. That's where so we're at. So I'm going to go with SWAT. Mm, when okay. he was, uh, whatever the fuck he was in SWAT. Whoever the Hondo. Was. Hondo in SWAT. And uh, my last pick is going to be when he was the narrator of The Farce of the Penguins, staying with the comedy okay. thing. Okay, okay. Uh, Jerry? Uh, I, I liked him reprising the role of Perry White in Man of Steel. Awesome. Mm. That's good stuff. Pretty good. He was and also in Menaces. I'm gonna too. I'm gonna cash on this last one, and uh, I don't care if a lot of people don't like it, but I'm gonna go with uh, he was Russell Franklin in Deep Blue Sea. Mm-hmm. Got his ass chomped by a fucking shark. Well, yeah, it's like a black guy in a horror movie. That's if it's a black guy in an ocean, a black guy in a horror movie, he dies. They, they die. Uh, one but I can't you know what? You in that movie, ignore. guess what? LL Cool J went. He he survives. Oh, that happened in Anaconda, too. Yeah, like, see, uh, see, see. Yeah, that's fucking wild. See? Okay. I had, some, uh, I had some good ones, obviously. They had some woke shit going on before it actually happened. I got Frozone in The Incredibles. I, mm-hmm. I didn't want to use that one. I got it really under the under shaft the radar. Shaft and Shaft. How did shaft. We not? I had that one, too. I, I, I didn't want to go there. Uh, I had RoboCop. Uh, he's the sergeant in RoboCop. Yeah, we, um, oh, my good. I don't know what the fuck. Else uh, one of my favorite like movies that uh, is really, really, it doesn't get very much credit is Jumper, and Dude, he was the badass. He was in, that. in Goodfellas <clears throat> for like thirteen fucking seconds. You should have taken when it. he got smoked by Joe Pesci. See, you should. He that was, was Dennis uh, he was Farina. He was like Stacks Package or something <laughs> like that. You're, you're confusing yeah, no. him and Dennis Farina. <laughs> yeah, how, how do I don't guys, even think course, he spoke. I, I, I literally don't think he spoke at all. I, I, think he I know you killed. don't like him, and I'm I'm breaking my trend. But as Nick Fury. Yeah, in the Avengers movies. Mm-hmm. I, I would never have picked those. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I would never have picked those. He's only got one eye. Make sure you go and search all of Jeremy's answers. Yes, do yeah, us a let's favor. Let's make sure that those are legit. No, right? they're legit. They're yeah. totally legit. They're totally legit. One hundred percent. Yep. Uh, but you can also vote for your favorite list on. Uh, we'll put it on Facebook. Generally, it's up by about noon every Wednesday. Let's, so come let's into put a um, effort into this and get it up sooner. Uh, laughing on the sidelines <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> you lazy fuck, Scotty. Let's try and get it up by 10 a.m. <laughs> for what it's worth, you I have do to go it. cash his food stamps check by 12:30. For, for what it's worth, I am at work <laughs> while working making these fucking lists. So anyways, uh, we'll be sure to let your work know that. Yeah, cuz all of them <laughs> listen to the show. Are we doing our shitty situation? Uh yes we are. Oh, guys, moving on, uh do us a favor vote on your favorite list, but now it is our favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our shitty situation of the week, brought to you by Finger Bang. Mm. Finger Bang. Actually, mm. this one actually is brought Great to you by beer. by Manscaped because uh, of what we decided to go with. Sure. So, Jeremy, what is today's shitty situation? I don't know. <laughs> fuck you! Every time! <laughs> Why in the fuck would I know? Because... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll make something up. Okay, go for it. Would you rather mm-hmm. have your wife... Girlfriend, life partner, whoever. Mm-hmm. Whoever you got to look at naked the most mm-hmm. of the opposite sex. Okay. Opposite meaning female. I don't know how you identify, Steve. Yeah. Um, Both. Sure. <laughs> and okay. I, am, I am neither a grower or a shower. I, I know that you identify as pansexual, meaning yes. that sometimes you like to fuck pans. <laughs> I fuck my toaster on Especially the after your wife pisses on them in the dishwasher. That's yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Would you rather have the person that you, the lady that you have to look at naked the most, have weird, oblong, lumpy, misshapen boobies? Mm -hmm. T-ball boobies. You sure? Uh We can do that? As long as, no. Torpedo mud titties. (laughs) But they can't be even. They got to be like, (laughs) they got to be. You got a T-ball and a softball. Yeah, they got to be softball, baseball boobies. Yeah. Yeah, or. You know, softball, beach ball, yeah. Okay. Yeah. whatever. She could only afford one tit in yeah. the boob job. 
or a completely unkempt garden. Talking pubic hair. Oh, bush. Okay. Ooh, you know what? I, I, this one's easy for me. Mm-hmm. I, I would. Oh, never mind. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> sounds easy. <laughs> it sounds easy, and then you start realizing maybe it ain't that easy. At mm-hmm. the end of the day, you have a musty basement versus what a beach ball and a <laughs> flapjack. Is that Softball, the deal? whatever. Yeah. Yeah, a beach ball and a flapjack. It's like seeing two girls. Um, only just one. You only see one. Mm-hmm. one see, my from special two. move is to just slam them both together and put both nipples in my mouth. <laughs> so I guess you'd have to pick up this tit and try and smack it onto that one. <laughs> like, could has, get, I don't know. With your Fuck special me. move, has any woman ever said, I like that? No. <laughs> I can't no, imagine never, they do. Not one. And I've had sex with two women. So, so neither. neither, neither oh, one good of them for you. Said, yes, we love it. You're loyal, man. One uh, of those women was a man. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, well, uh, Thailand was weird. Sure it was. And anyway, Derek is coming is coming back as a as a female. That's so, true. Yeah. Mm, Darina. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta think though, just knowing Derek the way I do, when he comes back, he's gonna have perfect titty. <laughs> he will. He will. He's a perfectionist. Tatas. Perfect. It's Kathleen. Kathleen Brenner. I think he's gonna go by Derek still. No, I think he'll. I think he'll switch. Uh, will it? Yeah. I don't think he I wants to. He I, I mean, have you, you remember what he looked like before? I think he wants to leave that all behind, wouldn't you? I think it's. Yeah. Dur- I well, really think it's Dorina. Here's the thing: what's what really gets me about the reason he's doing it? He's not doing it because he feels like a woman born in a man's body. No, no, he's, no he lost. He's a bet. doing it for the jokes. He's doing it for material, <laughs> which is just. It's Dedication pretty, to your craft yeah, is what it is. Good. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. Okay, but seriously. Can I, can I answer? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and get your answers. All right. Go ahead. You want me to go? Go ahead. I'm going to go with the misshapen titties. Okay. Because a woman honestly cannot help the way that the boobs form. Okay. She really cannot. Having the unkempt bush shows just a genuine lack of personal hygiene and personal care. That's a good point. That... That's a good point. If if no there answer. is an unweeded garden down there, can you imagine what kind of fish it smells like? That's another good point. A piranha. That's another good point. Mm. I bad boobs yeah. are still boobs. I oh, look yeah. at my own from time to time. I got them. Yeah, but they're not. They're not. I won't let like hobos fuck them or nothing. <laughs> But <laughs> not for at yeah, least seven dollars. Yeah, no bucks shit, you're gonna buy bucks. me a fucking pack of cigarettes. You're gonna fuck my titties. <laughs> Plus, they're hairy, and that's just weird. Uh, not thanks to Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know what, Jeremy? I think I think you you convinced me. I was kind of on the fence a little <laughs> Thank bit there. You. Was, Thank you. I really was. I really that's was. What I was after. But you know. I, I, and the main reason why I was thinking is, I mean, because all, all of, all, we're married. All three of us are married. Mm-hmm. I know all of us have have been in that situation to where not just just the area we're discussing is hairy, but like you can feel it. You can feel their legs. Yeah, mm. that makes me really uncomfortable. Yeah, because it's in the winter and it's just like, no, I don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. Here's I don't a- have to. I don't. I wear jeans all day. No, that makes me uncomfortable. But or I, let the hair grow out long enough to where it's not bristly. Uh, women women also use dry shampoo and make believe that their hair's clean. That's too. a good point. Too. What women do you hang out with? A chinchilla? <laughs> My what the fuck? fucking wife. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I, know any women that do I, that. I, but I, it's okay. I I I, I want a uh, womanscaped uh, mm-hmm. uh, wife. That's what I want. Steve. Uh, you know what? Growing up, my favorite exhibit at the zoo was the rainforest. Okay. Sure it was. So I feel like there might be some bats and shit down there in that deal. That was my favorite part of it and some piranhas. Mm-hmm. Just going I down there and hearing that. Yeah. 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 I think I, there might be a macaw I can teach mm-hmm. to speak. Macaw. Sure. Yeah. So I think Pretty I, have bird. To go, I have to go for the I have to go for the musty basement just full of <laughs> shag carpeting on this deal. Tricks. Sure. Tricks. They're just for kids. No, that's the bunny mm-hmm. rabbit. No, it's Fruit Loops. <laughs> no, that's Tricks. <laughs> no, Tricks was the bunny rabbit that says it's yes. just for kids. Yeah. Fruit Loops oh, was a toucan. Fruit Loops, the fruit, toucan. Fruit Loops yeah. was a toucan. Right. Yeah. And I'm so. betting that that toucan had an unshaved bush. 
For sure he did. He could have used sure Manscaped. He, yeah. he should have. those was, feathers, at motherfucker. At least it was colorful. Sure. Absolutely. Two All cans right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the show. We sincerely appreciate it. Thank you for following us on we all of our... We appreciate your tolerance. I, that's right. Especially tolerance of this fucking guest we had. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Anyways, no. We really do appreciate it, Steve. Thanks for coming in. Thank you guys for the onion rings. We may... we may If, if Derek can't make it next week, uh, we may ask you to do it again. If you'll have me back. I don't know. We're, we're kind of looking for other guests, people that don't care about fucking football you guys in the should, background. You guys, yeah, you guys people should, who don't... You, you guys don't should focus actually on the have some aspect. sort of a contest to where some some of these people that send in all these questions. Why? Be, so you can like, bet on it? Uh, the, <laughs> yes. The only yes. problem is a uh, majority of the people that send in these questions mm. don't live here. Oh, no. they're very smart people. Bro. No, no. We, no, they're just foreigners. No. When, no. You, when you have a podcast like ours, you have followers from sure. Chicago, Alaska, Australia. Wow. No shit. Uh, one of my, uh, I've became. Guy, whoever's the listener from Australia calls his mates cunts. Uh, well. He's a wild probably. cunt. Um. I mean, well, probably. He does, guarantee Probably. He had I called, guarantee you he calls Scotty yeah, I played, one. I, I played and rugby for a lot of years, too. He does. By the way, he won his fantasy football, by the way. He wanted me to let you know that. Who did? Uh, my buddy from Australia. Oh, nice. Let Dan, me take my give a shit pill, and I'll get right back to it. Dumpster him. Dan won his fantasy football. And hi, was it hi, Aussie buddy, rules anyway. football? No. Oh. By the way, you have no idea. I am into that shit. It's fucking awesome. It's fucking awesome. It's so fucking awesome. It's dude. so good it's to bet so on. Badass. It's well, I can place so much money on it. Do you have a team that you know? No, I don't. I just love watching it. The, the Scotty's got a jersey. I, I, got, I, got a, I, got a, I got a fucking shirt. Oh, that's badass. I got a shirt. Uh, I got badass. a team. I got a team I root for. And I, I, I think I had a Wallaby shirt for a while when I was playing rugby or yeah. something. He likes them more than the fucking Chiefs. That's true, I do. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Scotty that's loves awesome, the man. Chiefs. Anyways. It is cool. Aussie rules football is badass. It is bad fucking ass. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching us on Laughing on the Sidelines on YouTube. YouTube. YouTube.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines. You can also catch us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Not so much Twitter because I'd, I've given up on that absolute shithole. Uh, but mm. pretty much everywhere else. If you Google Laughing on the Sidelines, you'll find us. Give us a shot. What do you think? Uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. As we always like to say, you guys are our advertisers. So if you do us a favor, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends and your family. But if you don't like us, I hope somebody force feeds you scalding hot apple turnover <laughs> filling. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, Ace is the place for the helpful hardware <laughs> man. Oh, <it> is. <laughs> and until next time, keep laughing, asshole. We will see you later. Take care. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Fuck 2020. off.